Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? So on my journey to try to help free-to-play players and whales alike, I wanted to put out a video because it's very important, I feel, for free-to-play players to kind of get an idea of what they need to farm in advance for all the characters that would want to farm before they come out. That way, they don't really get pigeonholed and kind of forced into a situation where they have to expend excess resin on things that they were not ready for. And, you know, as it is, as it stands right now, um, the Claymore materials were released, and I feel like the reason why the Claymore materials were released is because, well, nobody's gonna roll on this thing anyways. Because weapon banners are scams. Now, this weapon is incredibly good for Edo. It's actually disgusting. And it's actually probably gonna make him viable outside of his alt, which I really don't think that he will be without this weapon. And for these, you need to farm, you know, uh, your little Narukami's wisdom, your concealed claws, your old hand guards, which you can obviously do very easy by just, in case you don't know, let me help you out real quick. Uh, if you open this up, you go to Adventures Handbook, and no, this video is not gonna be this papega straightforward, but just in case, in case somebody doesn't know out there, I learned a lesson from MTAS that the Genji community is incredibly stupid, and maybe they actually won't know this. If you go here, you open the Adventures Handbook, and you click this, and then you press Navigate, you can literally just go find them, and it'll show you where the majority of them are. You can kill them back to back to back. Those are for the paws, and then the other ones are for uh, the little... The, the hand guards for the swords, which are off the swordsmen, which I believe are these guys in Obushi. Now, these are two mats that you need for a weapon that you're probably not going to use, but I feel like it's important to prepare for things other than that. Now, from what I've heard, from what I can gather, I feel like Goro's best in slot weapon will most likely be uh, the Favonius Warbow. Now, is this true? I'm not sure, but Chad, what do you think? What do you think is better, Sacrificial Bow or, or Favonius Warbow? It's gotta be one of them. I feel like it's gotta be one of them. I feel like they're both gonna be dealt, but for me, I'm probably gonna run Sacrificial, but I feel like as long as you have one of these at 80, you'll you'll be fine. I feel like either of them were, will work great. Right now, it's a very heated topic on the forums that I don't read. I just get informed by my chat. But the real question is, what do we pre-farm for Ido and Goro? Hmm. Now, that hasn't been released in game, but I had a dream once, and these dreams speak to me. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a psychology guy. You know, I'm a psychology major. So, obviously, take everything that I'm going to say with a grain of salt. But... I'm going to do my best to psychoanalyze what the character is about and maybe point you in the right direction of what I think you might want to farm before Ito and Goro come out because sometimes dreams come true. So let's think everything that we know about Goro. So the first thing that we know is that he's a little bit of a badass, okay? So... Badasses, the first thing I think of when I think of badasses is the Golden Wolf Lord. Now, the Golden Wolf Lord is a boss that just came out. What else just came out? Arataki Ido. So I think you should probably farm 46 of these. 46, because every other character in the entire game needs 46. So why would he be any different? And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, this has to be used on Goro or Ido, but I feel because he's a five-star, this is probably the item that he needs. You're gonna need 46 of them. Now, next up, he's a Geo character. And what do Geo characters use to ascend? Well, like every other character in the entire game, they need these Geo little rocks if they're Geo. But how many exactly do they need? Well, thankfully, every other character in the entire game needs the same amount. You will need six of these little guys. You'll need nine of these big guys. You'll need nine of these blue guys. And you'll only need one of the small Geos. Now, here's where it gets a little bit... Actually, this one's still easy. So the other thing is, with every five-star, they always level up the exact same amount, okay? Now, if you want to level 10 every single one of Ido's talents, thankfully, I've already done that for a character, and I assure you it doesn't change. My Kazuha is 10, 10, and 10, but I'm a whale, so it's 10, 13, 13. This, in combined with leveling up all your talents and leveling up to max with an Ido, you're going to need 7.1 million Mora in order to do so if you're going to level 10. But if not, you'll probably need at least, at least 4.5 million Mora if you want to get them to a good spot. And for experience, thankfully, it's the same for leveling up your character from level one to level max. It should run you, I believe, uh, you know, just shoot a spitball here around 421 to 424 purple bucks. Now, 
here's the thing that gets kind of hard. How can we say, predict what Ito might need for leveling up his characters? That way, free-to-play players aren't fucked because for some reason, Mahoyo um, didn't want to release this information to the public. And once again, I had a dream about this and Jessica Negri also followed me on Twitter yesterday, which I also had a dream about and that came true. So maybe this will too. We're gonna have to think, what talent materials are we gonna need in order to level up Ito? Well, me, a gambling man, I think a character that came out in Inazuma is probably going to need Inazumian mats. So you can probably rest assured that you will probably need some Senora mats, but which Senora mat might you need? In my opinion, I think it's going to be the Ashen Heart because when I think of Ito, I really think that, mm, this man has a heart of gold. Ashen heart, heart of gold. You're probably gonna need Ashen hearts. Just a thought, just my opinion, but it makes sense if you really think about it. Now, the next thing is, well, Tectone, he's also going to need talent. He's gonna need talent books to level up his abilities. What is he possibly gonna use? Well, in my opinion, he's most likely going to need a talent book from Inazuma because he is an Inazuman character. It makes sense, but the question is, which talent book does he need? Now, Arataki Ito is the embodiment of, excell of excellence and manliness, so I don't think he's going to use flowers. So we can pretty much mark that one off the board. But the next one is, is he gonna need prophecies of light or is he going to use elegance? Well, in my opinion, Arataki Ito, he doesn't really embody the light demeanor. And to be honest, with the way that he moves his sword with every artistic style of his Oni Kabuto pose or the samurai pose, I feel like he is one of style and elegance. So I'm just gonna assume that you need a... Uh, nine of these you need 63 of these and probably 114 of these if you want to take everything to 10 but normally you can probably take about you know maybe 21 of these and you'll be good to go unless you just want to get level six then just some greens and some blues and in, in my humble opinion it just makes sense to me but now the other thing is what are you going to need to level him up. What are you gonna need to ascend him? Well, besides of the, uh, you know, the Geo cubes and the experience material uh, and all that other hoo-ha, you gotta look. And the first thing that you'll notice about Arataki Ito is that he has horns. Now, Ganyu has horns, and what did she use? I don't remember. But the other thing is, what does Arataki Ito have that every other Inazuma character doesn't have? Horns. What else have horns? Oni Kabuto beetles. I think, based on every other material, that you're gonna need around maybe 168 beetles because they both have horns. So it makes sense. So that's just my spitball of an idea, but maybe go look up Taka GG's guide to farming beetles or somebody else's because Taka GG has over 30,000 subs on Twitch by AFK on stream. Hey, welcome to the club, my boy. Good shit. Almost 33, 3K though. Get shit on. So I'm gonna guess Oni Kabuto Beatles. Now, the last thing that we're gonna need is he has one more talent material that he's probably gonna need to level up his talents. Now, what could that possibly be? Well, in my opinion, he likes playing trading card games. And he also likes playing games with kids. Now, what material do we think little kids would like? You guessed it, fun little slimes cute little blob slimes. I think that you're gonna need 18 of these, 66 of these, and probably 93 of these in order to get him to his max potential. But that, once again, is just a theory, a game theory, that you might wanna go and farm for yourself since Genshin Impact isn't going to tell you what y'all might need to farm in advance. So now, hopefully, if you know the lore, this would all make sense. I could be wrong, and maybe you should take it with a grain of salt, and for legal reasons, Yes, you should. Now, next up, let's talk about Goro. Now, what do we possibly think Goro is going to need? Well, obviously, I mean, let's let's get things out of the way, okay? First of all, same 7.1 million uh, more up that you're gonna need to take everything to max. 421 EXP books, the purple ones, of course. He's gonna need the Geo Rocks, all obvious shit. Three crowns if you want to. Um, and then some mat from some Yora, most likely the flower mat from some Yora. But let's think, what else would this guy possibly need? Well, one thing that we can take off right the bat is we know that he has a heavy affiliation with Kokomi. And Kokomi really likes pearls. You need those to ascend her. So what would Goro also might need? He's probably going to need pearls himself. 
168 to be exact uh, because that's what every other character in the game needs and why wouldn't Goro want to farm pearls to support Kakomi? So that is just my opinion. But now the next thing that we need to figure out is what boss and item drop are we going to need to farm? And I think that he's going to need the Spectral Husk because he is a dog and dogs are already very close with the spirit realm. This dog also summons a dog spirit. What's the closest thing to a dog spirit? A specter, AKA a spectral nucleus. That's why I think we're going to need to farm a shit ton of spectral nucleuses. Uh, to be exact, 36 of the small ones, uh, 96 of the medium ones, and almost 140 of the big ones. Because dogs are a spirit creature, he's a dog, he summons a dog spirit, these are specters, specters a spirit, spectral nucleus. Makes sense. Now, for talent materials, we also consider what are we thinking we're gonna need to farm here, Take a Chan? What do we possibly need? Well, obviously, he's not that elegant. Obviously, he already has the pearls. He doesn't need to buy Kakomi flowers, which only leads one remaining choice. Dogs, man's best friend, friend, light, light, holiness, prophecies of light is a dog. You would probably need to farm philosophies of light. It just makes sense thematically. And because you already farmed your flowers for Kakomi, which is why you farm them in here, because he is probably gonna need the molten moment to take the flowers to get to Kakoma his one true love. Now, all it comes down to is what ascension material do we think he's going to get? And when I was a kid, I had a robo dog, robo dog, perpetual mechanical array. I think you're gonna need 46 perpetual hearts because there's one thing that Gore has, it's a big heart. But after all, it's just a theory, a game theory. Once again, Tectone trying to use his dreams in order to help the free to plays prepare as best as possible but once again take this with a grain of salt this is all just a theory but if you want to put your faith in me you can once again just a guess just a guess anywho hope you enjoyed the video maybe i'll be right who knows maybe i'll be wrong who knows but i think chat thinks makes sense i mean it makes sense doesn't it hopefully you see my logic I would never look at leaks, and hopefully, if I'm right, this helps some free-to-play players not get fucked by Mahoyo. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can prepare for more characters in the future, maybe. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. Peace.